getting to the, the mud tracks. Here you go, yeah. yeah. This is it. So you'll start to see all the other players tearing the place up uh, and really starting to, yeah, make it turn into a, a mud fest. Just, just look at that, the sink, I sink into that mud. Um, so can you talk us through a little bit about this, this, this area? Sure, in? yeah. So this is, this is inspired from a, a real life um, off-road adventure park, which a couple of the guys, including Andy actually, uh, had the displeasure of having to visit in real life and drive their cars around and have a bit of fun in um, so that we could get all the reference and make sure it was all represented as accurately as possible. And um, it's translated really well. It's definitely one of the most fun areas in the game, I think, to, to play those um, playground arena type game modes like Infected and King. Um, as well as being a, a real cool looking place as well, especially at, at night, obviously we're in the day, but we've actually um, set the whole place up with lots of really cool festival touches, so you get lots of neon lighting that, that um, sort of punctuates. So if, it, if it gets dark in time, because we, we don't have control of the weather, like, like, we like, like, like real life, yeah. we don't have control of day or night. Uh, Krakenless has said, was I right? Thanks about the motorway. <laughs> we, we, we think so, right? That, that I, be I believe you were right. I do think um, so. Yeah. The mud looks incredible. Like, what, what kind of work's gone into kind of getting it so it's just like this? So, yes, yeah, so we, um, we actually did a, a massive overhaul on the way we were representing um, variable levels of moisture in, in the world. It's something that's really important, obviously, to represent each of those seasons, and that, that obviously plays a big part of it in, the, in Britain. So, yeah, so there's a, there's a, a system that analyzes the whole world for different dips and divots and finds out where water would collect and which surfaces it would collect. Shall we go into the event as well to sure. kind of like try out the, like see, see it in action in the event? Because I think we can, we can have some fun, right, towards the, towards the end of the stream. Guys, keep your questions coming in as well. t Deck said that the formation looks so good. Nice work. So awesome. like, it, it is absolutely <laughs> mind-blowing, though, like kind of the level of detail and how much the world changes from season to season. Because if you went there in summer, what would that be like? Yes, yeah, so all the all the mud in summer obviously gets really compact and hard. So it's a very different experience, and you're you're able to, well, you're not able to throw the car around maybe quite as easily as you would when everything's a little bit wetter and a little bit slicker. Right. So which which event are we going into? I miss I miss the event. We are going to go into a race around the four x four park. Right, we, should, we, should we see if we do a little uh, like lap challenge, see Andy to set, set a time and then the, uh, the Bens can go at it, see who can get the, uh, the fastest lap? No, don't do that, he'll, I mean, he'll win. But don't, don't, have confidence <laughs> in yourself. You are the tree man, right? It's not, I know the mud. Yeah, yeah. Wait, this just reminded me, yeah. soil. So, oh, right. don't make me talk about soil, Helen. Right. This is the level of detail there is in this game. It like, blew my mind. Like, you can tell the differences of quality of soil based on... Yeah, so, so like, before we go down that rabbit hole... Um, so, yeah, so, so we, we do... Like I said, we have, like, a, a piece of tech that, that finds out where water would be pooling in the world. So, so we sort of use that to translate to um, how much moisture would be in the, in the ground and how healthy a tree might be. So, so a tree that is around a more moist area of the world might hold on to its greens for longer, say, so it'll be more green in autumn and less sort of like those autumnal colours starting to come through. So it's a, it's a nice little detail that we, uh, we threw nice, in. Nice little change. Yeah. And Mr. True Man says, can confirm Britain is muddy. Oh, yeah, that's true. That yeah. is true. That is, that is definitely true. We, and, we, and mud is fun, mud? it turns out. Yeah. Well, it, it depends. Like, if you're, if you're in a big 4x4, four four, it's going to be a lot oh, of fun. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you get stuck in, the, in some wellies, not so much. Oh, I see. I think that is quite fun on a level. But yeah, you're right, in a 4x4, four four, it's, uh, it's, it's more fun. It's more fun. Yeah. Um, Branko says, never been an off-road guy, but the mud looks awesome. I, I think that's the thing you can go more into this, is the different styles of driving that you get in Horizon 4. Yeah, so we've put loads and loads of work into the kind of um, like road, asphalt-based driving versus yeah. the kind of off-road stuff. So trophy trucks like this are even more effective at just driving in a ridiculous speed across uneven terrain in a straight line as fast as possible. Um, the suspension work, you can see the wheels through the bodywork there at the back, just soaking up everything. Should, should we take a look at a different uh, view? Should we, Andy, should we have a look at cockpit view so we can kind of see the mud? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> see? 
<laughs> so this is because I was talking about how good he was at the games. Yeah, and then suddenly yeah. we asked for a cockpit change. And this, this is why I did it. <laughs> it's all over the place. Yeah, so you can just see how much kind of the car is soaking up all the terrain. Um, but then take this onto the road and, you know, it starts to kind of understeer a bit. It's got a bit less um, grip, whereas a hypercar on the road is absolutely perfect. And maybe they weren't as affected, um, hypercars going off road kind of in the past. But now in Horizon 4, we've really started to like push it a bit. So the, the differences between the cars yeah. are enhanced, which means you really start to, especially with um, the ability to change car anywhere in the world, you really start to to notice the advantages of driving. I wouldn't say the right car, because you can have fun anywhere you drive in any car. Don't get me wrong, driving a hypercar in this race is still very much a fun thing to do, but it's probably more effective if you're going for, say, the fastest time or something like that, to be in a, in a car that's kind of built for these environments. Right, you can kind of have a different choice of car that you want different experience, which is really cool. Yeah. Also, another question. Why did Ben choose red flags for the race? Oh, man. Right, OK. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, so on the subject of developer builds, <laughs> there is a bug in this uh, particular build of the game that has given us these lovely red balloons and red flags, um, which, which isn't, it wasn't a... Are they not that wasn't an art choice, no. no. I, I never normally question colours. <laughs> <laughs> do you like that shade of red? Uh, I don't know, I can't see it. Well, do you know what we're going to change anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, that's, that's development builds for you. Right, yeah. so what, what, was, what was that time? What was that time? I, th I, I feel like Ben and Ben should all have one lap each, right, to kind of see who is the... Uh, as we come up to the end of the stream. Absolutely. Can I go last? Yeah, what? fine. Is that fine? Yeah, absolutely fine. Right, one, one, you've got, the time to beat is one minute. Looks like one minute 30, I think I just saw. One, one, one minute 30, I saw one minute like 0 0.09 or something along those lines. So we're going to get into that, guys. Prediction, all right, in the chat, who do you think is going to win? Tree Ben or the real Ben, okay? <laughs> Tree Ben, let's just put in the chat, can we, can we put a poll up? Can we put a poll up, um, if possible? Right, vote. If we, if we have time, Mark's just like, no! <laughs> if we have time, vote poll. Otherwise, in the chat, write tree or real. Tree or real. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. Right, real is on the sticks. See, the problem is when I do this, I'm just going to get distracted by the red flags. Don't get distracted by the red flags. And the trees. And the trees. Just constantly distracted. <laughs> right, here we go. So I thought sure. Andy was going to leave this on manual gears, which would be just the end of me. I'd never live like that. <laughs> Oh, did he have the common courtesy to switch it back to automatic? He did. Oh, he did. That's, that's so we're playing in uh, <laughs> a more accessible way. <laughs> of course, I'm I'm brilliant at this game, manual or automatic. <laughs> right. Tree. Tree. What? Tree. You have got the you've got the lead at the moment. Seventy percent oh. are saying <laughs> that you are going to win this tree. Right. Okay. They might. They, I, uh, I'm hoping they're not putting money on it. Um, also, I am glass has just asked the question: Is the train from Harry Potter in the game as landmarks? We did see that viaduct earlier. So, so you will see a steam train uh, shooting across that viaduct uh, from time to time. Is yes. it going to be a flying car, like kind of in front of it as well? Uh, maybe not that. No. But yes, yeah, uh, it's quite it's quite a cool site actually. We were we were doing the, a rehearsal for this earlier, and it was perfect timing. We saw the steam train going across the uh, the viaduct, and sure enough, we said it probably wasn't going to happen during the stream, and it didn't. Um, <laughs> But yes, people playing the game will, will be delighted to see it when it tree, arrives. Tree is definitely getting a lot of support. Right, real, you need to step up. You're the real uh, Ben. You need to step step this up and like pull this off. Right, because what's your fastest lap time at the moment? Oh, you've got a one, you've got a one nine four, nine nine four. This is close. I, I, I have faith, and I'm kind of going for you, right? Because I feel like everyone is voting for Tree. <laughs> this could be the first time the internet is disproved. <laughs> <laughs> if, if only. <laughs> We're, we're, we're going to see as well. What, what are the, like, we, cause this, this week we are looking at um, autumn. I think it'd be a good time as well to start talking a little bit about what we're going to be looking at next week. Because sure, last week yeah. we looked at summer, right? This week, autumn. Uh -huh. What are we looking at next week, Ben? So, um, obviously, we're sticking with the chronological order that we've gone with so far. So, uh, so next week we're going to be looking at uh, winter, which is obviously a dramatically different looking landscape to anything we've seen so far. Uh, lots of snow, ice, frost very different driving experiences. Um, so yeah, it should be, should be fun. 
Well, I, I'm pretty excited because everyone has, like, quite a few people have said it's one of their favourite seasons as well. Don't look off the road, right? Keep your eyes on the road. You have a lap time to beat. Concentrate, real Ben. Right, you, there's 30% of the pit of the <laughs> audience are rooting for you to do this. Is that my Prove favorite? that 30%. percent and uh, Mr. Sneaky says trees coming home. Right. Yeah. The football's not coming home, but tree, uh, we, you're coming home. Surely too soon. It is, yeah, but you know, you got to laugh about it, don't you? It's, yeah, that's true. You do, it's, you it's the only way. Um, and we're, we're in Britain, so. Yeah, actually, uh, it's worth mentioning the part of Britain we're in at the moment, I guess, because this is something we haven't been through yet. Uh, so this is uh, based on the um, Yorkshire Moors. Ah. So in uh, in the summertime, all of that heather turns a beautiful shade of purple as well, which is quite a striking visual. Okay. Right. Wait, wait, let's see colours. the time. Best lap was a 59. You beat Andy. Oh. <sighs> oh, Andy's in second place right now. Can I just hit restart? Okay. Yeah. So, all right, this is a step up. But also, um, I like this, qu this uh, quote from Lamacroz from the chat. Did someone say winter is coming? Because yes, it is. Next week, <laughs> it will be here. But we now need Tree to do his lap. Like every, everyone in the show is rooted behind you. I'm sorry. <laughs> you do, you do realise everybody in the studio is going to call me Tree now. I'm really. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's going to happen. Sorry, Tree. <laughs> <laughs> My aunt's called Tree. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, really? That's that's good. So, all right. What else are you showing in the uh, in the coming weeks? I think we. Gonna have a bit of a visit to Edinburgh, Ben? Oh yeah, yeah, we will absolutely will. I've seen a few people in the chat asking for that actually. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we will we will be going to Edinburgh and driving, driving the streets. I think um, so. We've obviously got we've got winter coming next, and then we'll have spring. At some point, we're going to have a look at um, Team Adventure, which is our kind of competitive team-based multiplayer mode. That's going to be really exciting. Um, we'll have a look at a new feature I really like called Car Mastery, which is um, mm -hmm. I won't put. Too many spoilers, but it's it's uh, kind of progression for every car in the game, so that's really cool. So, so we're going to see next couple of weeks car mastery, right? Because remember, guys, every Tuesday for the next couple of weeks, we're taking a look at a different season. So 7 p.m. same time. So follow the stream, put notifications on. Uh, next week is winter, which is going to be pretty exciting as well, and um, we get to see trees and snow, I believe. Oh yeah, well you'll get to see everything in snow, Benny. The whole, the whole lot. The, the whole thing. Because the think, thing. Oh is, my God! See, you made me look away. Stay, <laughs> stay, stay, keep your eyes on the road. I can't talk and drive at the same time. Um, also, also, for those wondering as well, we are going to take one last look at the map before the end of the stream because um, I know that's one of the big things that was shown today early on. So for those of you that didn't see that, we're going to be showing that once a Tree has I mean, managed to complete. Yeah. Luckily, I'm doing this in record time. You've got a one minute. You've got a one minute one so far. So you just need to shave a, like two and a bit seconds off. Oh, really? Right. So, is that but, true? You, but this is that's your hot lap. That's so depressing. Yeah, you'll so. be okay. You'll okay. make it. Right. Right. You've got, you've got it. You've got it. Um, Shinyold says Tree Ben's life has been ruined oh. by this stream. <laughs> 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 you should get like a little mini uh, tree on your desk. I, kind of like... I, I feel if I don't get one, somebody will get one for me um, after this. Right. You, you are. Wait. I'm intrigued by this. By your time so far, because you got a 1:58. Oh, it's. Wait, actually. It's going to be close. Could you do it on this first go? Because if so, uh, no. Uh, no, right, you need, you need to do better. You need to do better. Right, right. OK, right. I, I might have to go completely silent now, Ben. I'm sorry. Don't, OK, well, well me and, me and the real Ben will uh, yeah, talk yeah. about next week. Um, so next week, once again, 7 o'clock. Well, Mastery, what other things can we expect to see in the next couple of weeks? Uh, I think we will we'll show off a lot of exciting things. I'm not... I put you on the spot right now. Yeah. I'm just like, what stuff can you tell us about? Because um, I think it's one of the great things about this stream. We saw last week, we're learning about so many new features from Horizon 4. We're learning, we're seeing new parts of the world. We're just seeing like the maps, a bit more about barn finds today. Yeah. Um, we've seen that Tree is currently losing the race, which is a shame. Forts of thought. <laughs> did an entire Forts on Live. Yeah, Forts on Live, which is going to be really exciting. Daily, weekly challenges as well within Forts on Live. Loads of way of earning like new items for the game. Um, so once Ben or Tree, sorry, has uh, finished finished his lap because he's a few seconds away, is he going to do it? Is he going to do it? And he let down the internet. <laughs> Oh. Right. 70% <laughs> oh. of the chat was wrong. Um, but Sarugu says, these graphics are out of this world. <laughs>